Hey guys, it's Mike with Financeable here. It's Friday, which means it's time to answer the weekly challenge question. By the way, if you like these videos, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe. We've got a lot more coming. Let's hop in here. So this week's question is a three statement flows question. And the question is, we have a company that has $100 of debt and they pay it down below face value. They pay it down 20% below face value. We're gonna assume a 25% tax rate. And the question is, how does this flow through the three financial statements? And ultimately, what's the change in assets on the balance sheet? So that's our question. Let's dive in here. All right, let's walk through this step by step. And we're gonna begin by calculating the gain that results from paying down the debt below face value. So we have $100 of debt that we paid down at $80. So there's a $20 gain that we now have to account for. And as we previously noted, the tax rate is 25%. So now we can hop into our four-step process which we cover in all of our other YouTube videos on three statement flows. So the first step in this process is the income statement impact. So let's go down to the income statement and we're gonna pull in that $20 gain, which increases our taxable income by $20. Well, if our taxable income goes up, we now have a tax liability that we need to incorporate here. So we'll take negative our tax rate times the profit before tax, and that's gonna create a tax liability of $5. We can sum all this up to get to net income, which completes step one. So we have net income in place and we can move to step two, which is pulling net income over to our cash flow statement and then ultimately working to cash. In cash flows from operations, we need to back out any non-cash charges. In this case, the gain that was created was really an accounting mechanism to capture the substance of that gain, but the gain is not a cash charge. So we're gonna reverse that out. So we'll take down below, the negative of the gain from the debt retirement, and then sum this up, and the impact from cash flows from operations is negative $5. Now, as with all of these non-cash item situations, what we're really seeing in cash flows from operations is a negative $5 tax impact, which is what you see over on the income statements. We're just capturing the cash impact that results from this debt pay down or really from the gain from the debt pay down. Then moving down, we have cash flows from investing. There's nothing to do there. And in cash flows from financing, we capture the actual cash outflow for the pay down of this debt, which was negative $80. With that completed, we can now complete step two, which is just cash flows from operations, cash flows from investing, and cash flows from financing. And we now have a negative $85 impact of cash, which again completes step two. Now we're gonna move to step three, which is pulling in to the balance sheet, the change in cash and our impact or retained earnings, which is just net income. So we'll start on the asset side of the balance sheet and pull in our change in cash. You can sum that up because there's only one item. And then we're gonna pull in the impact to retained earnings, which comes from net income, so $15. And that completes step three. In step four, we just fill in the pieces. Well, in this case, we paid down $100 of face value of debt, so it would have been sitting on the books at $100. So we take negative 100 for our debt, and now our balance sheet is balanced out, and we've completed the three statement flows. Now, candidly, we could have stopped about a minute ago because the question was, what's the change in assets for this company uh, with this situation? And the answer is negative $85. So the answer to this week's weekly challenge question is negative $85. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to check out our videos and for participating on the polls on LinkedIn that create these videos. If you found this video helpful, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe, we've got a lot more coming. Hope you have a nice weekend, take care.